18. So honestly, there's an event that may just uh, suit just about anybody with uh, with plans or not having plans for the weekend. Albuquerque is jam packed this week with festivals and it's all kind of in a way related to the balloon fiesta. Aaron Scott's here from ABQ 365 to update us. Good morning. Good morning. So yes, like you said, Balloon Fiesta is coming up this weekend. That's the so big one. That brings kind of a lot of additional events all around the same time of year. So for the next about coming week and a half, two weekends, we've got a lot of stuff going on, which is really exciting. So, How about some ins and outs of the Balloon Fiesta? What can people expect there? Obviously, we've got the, the floats in the morning and then, of course, mm -hmm. the glows at night. But what else? Right. So um, morning mass ascension will be happening daily. Um, the weekends are probably going to be the busiest time to go. So it kicks off this Saturday and goes through next Sunday. I recommend that if you're a local, definitely go during the week because you'll avoid the you mm. know, huge amount of traffic, all the crowds. And there's still a ton of competitions and cool events happening throughout the week as well. Um, also, like you mentioned, balloon glows will be happening um, in the evenings. There's a bunch of new special shapes this year, which we're really excited to see. Um, and a couple of new additions to the show as well, like Parabatics. They're doing some laser mm -hmm. work this year, laser light shows, and Music Fiesta next Saturday. So Sounds like a lot of, of stuff fun. Going on. 44th year. 44th year, yeah. Big deal. Uh huh. And this year it's sponsored by Canon, so we're also super excited about that new addition. And they're bringing in a lot of like photo equipment, lots of cool cameras you can try out while you're there. Um, so while at the park, we operate a giant photo frame, giant yeah. Albuquerque frame. Um, so you can take a photo at the frame and then go print it in the Canon tent. Now, is that related to the Picture ABQ photo contest? It is all kind of tied into one. So Picture ABQ is the primary hashtag that we use for our giant frame at the um, Balloon Fiesta event. So we're doing a photo contest um, from now until Monday. So it'll get us through the first weekend of the Fiesta. And we're just calling for general fall photos in Albuquerque. Send us your best shots on um, Instagram and Twitter and use that hashtag Picture ABQ. Once you register your photo officially, you're entered into the contest, and we're giving away a balloon ride for two um, next oh, Thursday or Friday during Fiesta. So, pretty awesome prize. Now, if you're <laughs> gonna pay, I was gonna say, if you're gonna pay for one, you might as well enter and give it a shot. Exactly. Well, that's a cool prize, and I love the uh, frame idea uh -huh. right on the field there. Great photo op. All right, let's talk about some of the other festivals that are happening at the same time. American Indian Arts Festival. So this is at the Indian Public Cultural Center. It's happening this weekend. It's a great option for if you're looking to buy some Native American art, jewelry. Um, there'll be contemporary and traditional art and over 100 Native vendors. So it's going to be jam-packed there at the IPCC. Um, entry is about 6 to $10, I believe, and then you can shop all day long. They also have their Native dance performances every weekend as well, so lots of things to do at the Cultural Center. Maybe draw some people away from the Balloon Fiesta who, who mm -hmm. may not have something to do in maybe the afternoons or something like that. Right, yeah. yeah. Typically, people, when they come for the Fiesta, go to Old Town, they go to the tram, some of our key attractions. So going to some of these additional places that are hosting cool festivals is a great option. All right, another one is the ABQ Course and Brews Festival, right? So this is happening at the Rail Yards this weekend, and I just got word that it is actually sold out. Oh, boy. Um, but they do have a wait list for tickets, so don't give up hope yet. So <laughs> head to the website and you can get a ticket if you're interested. It's craft wine and beer alongside artisanal chocolate. That's going to be a popular one. The Grecian Festival. What's that all about? This is another annual event that's kind of signature to Albuquerque this time of year. Um, so Greek dancing, Greek music, um, it's all kind of a fundraiser for the Greek Orthodox Church here in downtown Albuquerque. Super fun event, really cultural experience, um, worthwhile to check out. That is a fun event, love it. And the Rio Grande Arts and Crafts Festival, what's happening with that? This will be this weekend and next weekend. So you okay. have two opportunities to go. They set up a giant white tent at Expo New Mexico and have over 200 vendors that are selling arts and crafts, um, kind of everything you can think of really. So it's a great opportunity to go and get your holiday gifts a little bit early, get ahead of the game on that and buy some local, support local as well. You bet so much happening in Albuquerque this time <laughs> of the year. It's great. It's good for the economy. It's good for folks who are looking for things to do on the weekend with their mm -hmm. family. Where can people find more information? Everything is on abq365.com. Um, follow us on social media as well. And don't forget to enter your photo in the picture ABQ contest. Yeah, do it. That'll be a lot of fun. Maybe <laughs> visit the frame. Right Definitely. On the field. Aaron, thanks so much. We have more online, krqb.com. Have a